Ishnu Allah, everyone, and welcome to the new campaign of Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, the Night Elf campaign, Eternity's End. My favorite campaign of this whole game. Let's get it started. Chapter 1, Enemies at the Gate. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Put your backs into it. Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here. No siding with the Orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So... These orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. So again, welcome to the new campaign. What do we got here? Entangle the gold mine, construct the moonwell, Ancient of War, train five archers. The Tree of Life is the heart of our Night Elf villages. Use the tree's ability to entangle the gold mine. After entangling the mine, send wisps in to extract gold. The Tree of Life is like the orcs' uh, great hall or the humans' town hall or castle. And the undead's necropolis. These are friendly spirits that harvest gold and lumber for our villages. They also create the structures that allow us to train more warriors. I'm gonna send our wisps over to get some lumber. And as you can see right there, they can return lumber without damaging the tree. Build more of them using the Tree of Life. Let's go ahead and pin our two cheat codes here. Your building is complete. Let's go ahead and take these five wisps over here and bring them over to the gold mine. Bring five more of them and put in lumber. Of course, when we have enough. The moon wells are the source of our nourishment and strength. You can build additional moon wells to nourish more troops. Let's go ahead and uh, get our four or five pe uh, peons. I'm still thinking of the orc campaign. Uh, our five wisps. To train more troops. Construct an ancient of war. Create more moon wells. Insufficient gold. Wait for it. There we go. We can't build there. There we go. Your building is complete. I heed the voice of Elune. Alright, let's build more moon wells. 
Whoops, I did not want to do that. Well, I, I need another one anyway. Build a Ancient of War. Alright, alright. Your building is complete. Alright, now we'll train five archers soon. Let's uh, build more moon wells. More lumber is required. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. More lumber is required. Your building is complete. Alright, that's enough moon wells for now. At night time, many night elf units can shadow meld and hide automatically while stationary. Meaning, if they're not doing anything, they go invisible. Enemies can't see them. Okay, let's uh, build an altar of elders for Toronto in case she dies. Oh, I love this theme here. Your building is complete. Alright, now to train five archers. I'll do that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and have Taranda scout the area. Ashrathoraman. Because we have some archers up here. Immediately. Three of them. They don't qualify for the archers trained, but it does help. I'll explain that later. But let's get back to base here. By Elun. Someone threatens the wilds. You are Let's have uh, this archer. Where are they? Go up here. I'll explain that in just a moment. Rhonda. Let's go down here for this optional mission. So be it. Preparing to leave this place, Priestess. There is a terrible evil corrupting these lands, and I will not allow it to consume my people. Unfortunately, we cannot leave until the rest of our tribe has been accounted for. Do not fear, old one. I will find your tribesmen and lead them back to you. Thank you, Priestess. We will reward you when you return. Find ten missing furbogs. There's two up here by this archer. On your mark. One reason why I had her up here. All too easy. Say no more. Fair enough. All too easy. There we go. Say no more. All right. I, we seem to have enough golden lumber to train five more uh, archers. Let's go ahead and do that. I stand ready. 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 Main quest completed. Now we need to slay the paladin. Duke Lionheart, level 6. Tyrande is level 1. We're going to need a massive night elf army, like two groups. And so far we have two short of one group. Full. So two more here. I stand ready. I stand ready. Now remember when we uh, found those two fur box up here? Well, I read in the little Warcraft 3 booklet that after the first two have been discovered, the first incoming will be from the humans, and here they come right now. Three footmen. Be ready. 
Someone threatens the wilds. Oh, Kalimdor. Let's have this night elf. This night elf, Archer. On your mark. Go to the moon wells. Because the moon wells replenish mana and life. If you stand near them, basically heals them. A healing building. Point the way. I heed the okay. Voice of the moon. I'm not ready to go after the Paladin just yet. Let's discover some fur bogs. On your mark. Here's two more down here. Where else are there? There's three right here, protected by some orcish horde. Two more up here, being guarded by the wyverns. That'll bring us for a total of nine, and there's t t uh, two more down here. thought there was three. That's deer right there. But okay. Archer, come back to base. Done. Let's go and get our second group assembled. We need twelve of them. I stand ready. 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 I'm not gonna do a full twelve though. Away. Uh just one I stand ready. You'll see why in just a moment. Ashra Thoraman. 